Hey, what's going on? You came home from work, you know, hard day. You got home, you're thinking about all the things you're going to watch. You know what I'm saying? You crack open some, some beers, you're going to watch some, you know, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, a little Bambi, you know, a little uh, Umi Zumi, a little Blues Clues. You know what I'm talking about. So you go turn your TV on. Blue light comes on. You're like, yeah, nice. What, what, what's going on here? You know, it's a 32-inch Polaroid. What's going on? No, no. Blue lights on. No video. What? 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 No. This is not good. I don't like this. So I'm gonna tell you what's going on with this. It's a couple model numbers, you know, TDA, uh, TDXs, Polaroid model numbers. Let's go and see what's going on with this, cause our uh, I'm trying to watch some uh, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, and we can't have this. You know, we we can't have no video. You know, so we're gonna take right, it. you guys know me by now. You know, I'm not intimidated by TV parts and all that. I'll open this bad boy up and see what's going on. You know, first I'm gonna check. You know, fuses and all that good stuff. You know, but uh, I'm gonna show you what's going on. I have the repair kit. I will have the repair kit. Check it out on eBay for this. But uh, first, you you know you look for a swollen capacitors. Everybody tells you that you know they look good. You know you look for swollen capacitors. You know usually it's on the power supply. This is the main one. But usually it's on the power supply. So sometimes you know you look, you don't see any swollen capacitors. You know you're like, oh man, I got a serious problem. But listen, if you look really close, man, you really you gotta look. You gotta have a keen sense of sight that it makes any sense. But they don't look like they're bolts a little bit. They don't have any liquid spewing up, and you know it doesn't have to look like that for it to be, you know, not working. But if you look, it's bolts a little bit. That one, the bottom one, top one, a little bit, but the bottom one. You can see, it looks a little bulge, just a little bit. You know, you guys think it takes a lot. You gotta see stuff spreading all over the place. No, no, just a little bit, man. That's all it takes for you to have no picture. You can't even watch the Care Bears or you know, Aladdin and all that good stuff that you guys love to watch. You know. But let me tell you something about this board. You know, you're going to go on eBay, you're going to go everywhere. Oh, these guys are going to sell you repair kits. You know, they're going to, you know, they're going to, oh, we sell repair kits for all these. You got the kit involved, all these little capacitors, all that. This one, you know, uh, you know, oh, man, they're going to give you the whole kit. Unnecessary. All right. Trust me. So, I will be replacing these two capacitors. You know, they look a little bulged up, if you see it. A little bit. I don't know if you can. I don't know. You know, it's not completely flat. So I will be changing it with these two right here. Replacement capacitors. I put a little mark here on the top. So you know, you can distinguish that it's these two that I will have in the board when it cranks up. So. And for all you guys thinking, oh, should I get the other kit with all the other capacitors? Why? Why mess with anything that not, that's not messing with you? Don't. You don't mess with a bully. But bullies mess with another dude. Don't go to the bully and say, hey, I want a, I want a piece of you. No. No. These capacitors are not messing with you. These capacitors are okay. Why get a kit that gives you all these capacitors where you have to change? Then you have to get into, like I said, the heat sink. You have to take this thing out, this big metal thing, just to get to those. Then you have to take, no, you don't want to, no, they're fine. That's, that's potential damage right there. You don't want to mess with that. You just mess with what, what needs to be changed, like I always say. These guys, they're outside, they're out in the open, they're accessible. Hey. Change those two. You don't need a kit with the whole set. That's just that's just asking for trouble, to tell you the truth. 
tell you the truth, that's just asking for trouble. So you just fix what needs to be fixed, fix what's broken, and you go from there. All right, I want to mention something else uh, about capacitors. If you guys uh, are, you know, if you guys are gonna tackle this, um, these capacitors they have a negative side and a positive. You know, there's a negative side to these and a positive. Um, see that little negative. Each capacitor have those. These prompt. This is the negative side of the um, capacitor. So when you're taking these out, they go in that way. They go into the board that way. The board always shows up. You know the part where it needs to be negative. It's a little. It's, it's it's different from the other side. See how there's a little white little thing or you know around that. That's the negative side to this. So that means this that negative side has to be pointing that way. It has to go in that hole. See what I'm saying? This is the negative side. You can't switch. If you switch it and you put it like that, it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna crank up. So this is the negative. That little there's always a there's always something on every capacitor you buy that lets you know that this is the negative side. And each board has a little something different on and that circle where you put the you know capacitor there's always something different that or sometimes there's a little line scratches. But in this case it's just a little white extra little marking on, on top of the circle. So this negative has to be going in that hole that first hole yeah so it has to be you know like this one so that is so just to show you what's going on with that you got to make sure they're placed in the proper way or you're just gonna defeat the purpose it won't crank up all right I just came back from doing the soldering replacing the capacitors so you can see they're both on the negative side, both replaced correctly. Uh, I'm trying to show you the back. Show you soldering is nice and you know contacts are nice and uh, you know surrounded uh, with solder. However you use them. I don't know how you say that, but you know what I'm saying. All right, just came from screwing the board back in. I'm just gonna plug these in. And uh, we're gonna hope for the best, you know. You see, it's the same capacitor that I had in there. Get the marking on it. So you see them. Gonna try to flip this bad boy around. Let's see if I can do that. Put some video on it. I'm sure something's showing. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Let's see what's going on. Oh, you know you guys recognize that. Oh, nice, 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 nice. I like that. I like when things happen like that, man. I like that. I love it now. I love it now right now. I love it now right now. So there you have it, folks. Paracase will be on eBay. Let you know right now. Grab it. Fix your uh, TV, man. So you can get back to it. So you can get back to it, what you were doing. You know? So uh thanks for joining me. And uh next time. Next time people. Next time. <laughs>